Already some excitement for the Big Boat Tour on the starting line. J105s are off the line next, and this time the pin end looks strong. And Rookie Dust goes back for the night. The night series, and as they cross to take the gun, it's Mirage. Sailors and Land Rovers are a natural fit. It's all about outdoor adventure. Jaguar Land Rover Annapolis is proud to support the AYC Wednesday Night Series. Eastport Yacht Center on Back Creek, where the Severn meets the bay, is the perfect location for all your marine needs. It's a complete full-service marina with new floating docks and bathhouse. For more information, visit www.eastportyachtcenter.com. Has the time gone? We're almost halfway through August. It's the third night of Series 3. Only three more races to go after this one. Hi, I'm Tucker Thompson from T2P TV. Tonight is a typical Annapolis night. A southerly breeze, light about five or six knots, but hey, that's plenty enough around here to get a race off as we join the action on the starting line. Perf Zero, as you know, is up first. The fastest boat is Charlie Ang's Stray Dog, and they are in exactly the wrong place at this start. The Far 40 to Leward has shut them out. They'll be spinning around and have to start again. Nice job for the Far 400. Here comes the start. USA 40, the far 30, also got shut out of the start by that 400. They had to tack onto port for clear air. Same story, different start. It's Pegasus shutting out Maggie to windward. And I'm pretty sure Peter Scheidt's not going to make it in there. He'll dip down. There's the start. The good news for Maggie, though, they didn't have to spin all the way around. They'll start second row. Give the start to Fred Mertiz on Blinding Fury. Everybody's on starboard tack. That is the favorite tack tonight, except for Aunt Jean. As soon as I say that, it's Jimmy Sagerholm who's got to go against the trend. J105s are off next. X flag is up. And it's Pete McChesney over early. On course side, 214 OCS. Where Ego's Dear. That's one of my favorite boats that we've covered in 12 years because they wear crew shirts on Wednesday night. Obviously, somebody didn't get the memo. It's a difficult night. The breeze has been slowly ticking to the right. A lot of boats after the start have continued on while others have shifted to the right. Bravo just barely crosses Tenacious. We're halfway up the beat. First checkpoint is the special mark. Everybody's got to go around it. And that's where the fleet chokes up before heading out into the bay. Well, now there is something you don't see every day, particularly on a Wednesday night. Trouble on Tenacious, who we just saw going upwind. 
with that Hetzel in the up position. Well, you can see the problem here. And what an effort by the bowman to climb up the rig, regain the furler, and reconnect the sail. There seems to be some confusion in the fleet also. A lot of the boats were on an upwind fetch on starboard, but everybody's looking for special Mark B. Nobody can find it. It's up the bay, and now spinnakers are up. Here's blockade runner on a reach. Well, now this is definitely a first, and no one knows where to go because the second mark isn't there. So some boats are still heading upwind. Others have got spinnakers up heading north towards the Bay Bridge, and others, like this FAR 400, have got a kite up and just simply turn left and are heading back in. You can see some boats are still on a starboard reach. They're going out up in the bay looking for the next mark. Other boats, like Mumbles here, are following the FAR 400. And i got to be honest, I have no idea where the next mark is either. The mystery is solved. Mark one is right here and it just got set. Now, I'm not sure procedurally what that means. The boats that haven't gone around it may not actually be having a race tonight, but here are the boats that are. It's a button hook, hook turn back into the harbor. Monkey Dust does a jive set for air mail. It's a bear away and you can be sure an early jive will follow. Remember the FAR 400? We last saw them heading in. Well, they dropped the spinnaker, put up the jib, turned around, and now they too are rounding what we think is the correct mark. For everybody now, it's a jibe set. At least for a few boats out here, the smaller mark means a different course and they are definitely going to get a solid race in. We're at the top mark with the J-22s, the J-30s, and the Etchells. Main trimmers come in all shapes and sizes, and apparently ages. Now we've caught up with what we think is the lead J30. You guys out in front? I mean, look at that. There isn't even another J30 in the same hemisphere. I think we know who's going to get the gun in this fleet tonight. Heading into the lured mark with the lead J35, Bad Company, and what we think might be the lead boat in A0, that's Ramrod. Both boats are going to be dropping spinnakers and heading into the finish. As you know, one thing we don't know is whether Ramrod went around the other mark or not as they lead their fleet. Now, Stray Dog did not, and they may have retired for the night.
One boat that we know did stop their tracks, turn around and retrace them, and has headed around the correct mark is Premier Racing. Ian Gordon and crew in the FAR 400. So technically speaking, if they are the one that's done it right in their class, they could win it. And so into the harbor we go. Apparently, size doesn't matter. So the story of the night has been which mark did you go around? Did you sail the course right? Well, Team Premier, Ian Gordon in the back of the boat, D. Smith calling the shots, Russ Bowler at the helm, apparently has, according to our story, as they cross the line, third place boat for boat, but we think victorious in Perf A0. Well, the mystery of the missing mark was solved, at least for some of the fleets who went around the correct mark after it was set for others. Well, tough luck. You're going to have to go online at AnnapolisYachtClub.org and find out who made it tonight and who didn't. But that made for an interesting show. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Tucker Thompson for T2P TV. See you next week. You're watching T2P TV.